Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things video short. We don't just baptize babies. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. The common beef with Lutherans, or anyone who baptizes infants, is that we baptize and then we just don't care about the kid anymore. As if baptism is some sort of magic trick. I'm like, no, they not must leave. No, they not must leave. Boo! Saved. Um, I don't care about the young person, the, the, the infant. Baptism is commanded by Scripture. Matthew 28. Uh, uh, the Lord, uh, after he had raised from the dead, uh, met the eleven on, on the mountain he appointed, and he said, uh, As you are going, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to hold dear everything I have commanded. Lo, I am with you always to the very end of the age. The command is to make disciples. The means is baptizing and teaching. Not just baptizing, but baptizing and teaching. Teaching what? Teaching them to hold dear everything I have mandated. And so Lutherans do not just baptize. We baptize and teach. Teach what? Everything the Lord has mandated. And so the idea that we would baptize and leave the kid out into the cold is not faithful to what we've been commanded to do. We are commanded to baptize and teach. Not just teach, but to teach and baptize. And not just baptize, but to baptize and to teach. Those two participles are so connected under the main verb make disciples in Matthew 28 that uh, they're not even separated by an and. It's as if you take in a breath, as you're going make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them to hold dear everything I have commanded. <sighs> then you can breathe out. So, Lutherans baptize and teach. Well, what about faith? Well, faith flows from the gift. The, the, the baptizing, the word in the water, creates, gives the Holy Spirit, who creates the very faith, to lay hold of that word of God in the water. You see, faith saves because it grasps hold of the word of God in the water. And it's not just faith. Uh, he who believes and is baptized shall be saved. He who doesn't believe stands condemned, Mark, six, Mark 16. So it's not just faith. The command is faith, whoever believes and is baptized. Because baptism is important. It saves. Now, can you be saved without baptism? Yes. But why? Was there some sort of emergency that occurred? The ship was sinking and then you didn't have time to be baptized before you, you were drowned. Well, then God's certainly not going to be hold that against you because faith saves, because Jesus saves what Jesus did on the cross for you. But the idea that baptism is a nothing, that simply isn't in Scripture. The command is, who, the, the word is, he who believes and is baptized shall be saved. Faith lays hold of the word of God, and where's that word of God? Located in the water. A baptism without a teaching isn't what the Lord commanded, just like a teaching without a baptism isn't what the Lord commanded. So, the complaint that you Lutherans just baptize and willy-nilly leave people out in the cold, we would say, yeah, if that's what we did, we'd be wrong. But the command is to baptize and to teach. On a sidebar, you notice that that command is to baptize and to teach, as if there isn't really, it, you don't have to believe first and be baptized. You can be baptized first and then be taught. But that's a totally different video. So here, um, baptize, teach. That's what we've been commanded to do. And that's why we do what we do. Because the Lord commanded us. Teach what? Hold everything, to, to, to hold dear everything the Lord has commanded. I'm Pastor George Park on it. This has been another Higher Things video short.